Hi there. You know, today I wanted to talk to you about if you're having this inner conflict about why perhaps the world is not, the universe is not delivering to you the way you had anticipated, or perhaps you had some expectations and um, it's, it's not quite turning out the way that you had, you had thought it would. So I like to think of myself as a truth seeker and a seeker of light. I'm actually in India right now and I've been here for a while. And one of the questions I've had that I've been traveling through with is that this is, that's the exact same question. Like, what do you do with that? Because it makes you a little bit anxious or makes me a little bit anxious when I, I have this plan and I want things to turn out a certain way, but it's, it's, it's not, 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 uh, the results are not what I had expected. So what do we do with that? What do we do with um, trying to, you know, live in the world with something because it brings up other emotions that are not flowing in the way that um, is comfortable and things are keep on turning out the way they are and it, it sort of like puts me in a very uncomfortable position don't get me wrong my life is fantastic in fact I've just had this incredible amazing um, trip that is um, I'm in Rishikesh maybe you can see that behind me I don't know if you can see the uh, Ganga behind me, the Ganges, but that's where I'm at. I mean, what more could I ask for? My trip has been incredible. So one of the things that I found is I've been asking the question, um, wherever I've gone, is how do I, how do I deal with this, uh, this inner conflict of resolve? And the, and the answer that's come up for me over and over and over on this trip is acceptance. You have to accept the environment. This is what the sages have told me, this is what the saints have told me, this is what the ashrams have told me, the gurus have told me, is to accept your, your surroundings. I mean, that's a message that's been coming up over and over again. So that's why I thought that was like the theme of my trip this time, which is to accept everything the, exactly the way it is. There's nothing for me to change. There's nothing else for me to do. It's just exactly the way it's supposed to be in the universe. I start feeling uncomfortable because it creates discomfort for me. I don't know what to do with the results of whatever's occurring around me. So um, it's like, uh, it, it's, um, it sometimes makes me very anxious. No, to, to not know what's going. And something that I also observed about myself is that there are certain things that I make promises on, especially to maybe my daughter. And I'll say that, you know, I can do it. But I know I don't have the means or the resources at this time to do it. So why am I making those promises? It's because I feel a little guilty somewhere deep inside of myself. When we have to take care perhaps of our parents, or you have to take care of something, people, most likely in people. When it's just uh, buildings and things like that, you can figure it out. Somewhere you can figure it out, you can go in debt or you can figure it out. But when it's human beings that you're dealing with, relationships, it's, you have to really handle it with, it, it, with tender loving care. And um, for me, I just go into this little guilt trip, like how am I gonna make everything happen? And how is, um, how, how am I going to get to that place? So I'll just say, yeah, it'll happen. Of course, I'm being positive and I'm putting in the, out the vision that things will occur in the way they're supposed to. But at the same time, in the moment, it's not happening. And am I lying to myself? Am I lying to the other person that it will occur? So it puts me in this little guilt mode. And that guilt mode is this like this little narrow window in the universe. And when you go into that guilt mode, it's like you go, you're go you going to scarcity. You're going to a place that is that doesn't really have any answers. It's always going to be like this block in front of you. So that's a place to look if you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling like you've, you're, you have obstacles or you feel stuck. Because you're going into this, this pathway that is not satisfying, it's not fulfilling, it's not going to take you anywhere. Um, so it's, it's really important that you, that you wake up, you know, and like smell the coffee. 
you got to wake up and see everything around yourself like what's really happening where am I and accept everything that's around you the people the conditions the circumstances everything changes everything changes and you will have what you're supposed to have you know what's meant for you it will come your way but with you with you stepping into your truth and making a decision that you will accept everything as it is because it's from the divine it's been perhaps your own patterns perhaps your own um, whatever you did your own karma and these are the consequences and we have to accept them and only when you can accept them is the next thing will open up for you if you're not accepting them then you're gonna keep fighting with yourself like why did it not change why is it not happening the way I want it to and uh, it really doesn't take you very far so with that love yourself love your conditions love your circumstances love everyone around you and I love you take care